Welcome to Inside the Pride. My name is Joe Contreras, and I am one of the play-by-play broadcasters for the Vanguard Athletics and the host of this series here on the Vanguard Athletics Podcast Network. Today, we are going to get an inside look at one of the most fun teams to watch play, the women's basketball program. I'll be asking them a series of who is most likely to questions to get an inside look at the heart of the team. Thank you for joining me today. Now let's take a look inside the pride and meet the team. Please go around stating your name, year, hometown, and major. Oh, so um, my name is Maya. I am a junior. Uh, my hometown is Brownsville, Tennessee, and my major is kinesiology. My name is Tana Decker. I am a freshman. I'm from Camp Verde, Arizona, and I'm a kinesiology major. Hi, I'm Tristan. I'm a senior. I'm from Pico Rivera, California, and I'm a psychology major. Hi, I'm Natalia. I'm a sophomore. I'm from Marietta, California, and I'm a biology major. Hi, I'm Ariana. I'm a freshman. Um, I'm from Gilbert, Arizona, and I'm a pre-nursing major. Hi, I'm Lauren. I'm from Meridian, Idaho. I'm a kinesiology major and I'm a sophomore this year. Hi, I'm Hannah. Um, I'm a sophomore and I'm from Rancho Santa Margarita, California, and I am a pre-nursing major. Hi, my name is Sadie Alexander. I'm a freshman. I'm from Redding, California, and my major is musical theater. Hi, my name is Gabby. I'm a Junior, my hometown is Chihuahua, Mexico, and I'm a kinesiology major. Hi, my name is Aggie. I'm a senior. I'm from Cypress, California, and I am also a kinesiology major. Hi, my name is Jayla. I'm from Palm Desert, California, and I'm a bio major and a criminal justice minor. Hello, my name is Estefania Jenner. Um, I'm a junior, I'm from Mexico, and um, I'm a kinesiology major as well. Hi, my name is Michaela. I am a graduate student, and I'm from Ontario, California. Hi, I'm Jackie, I'm from um, Africa, Kenya. I'm a sophomore, and I'm a liberal studies major. Hi, I'm Sierra. I'm a first year assistant coach and I'm graduated from Vanguard. Hi, I'm Maya Michelle. I'm a, going into my third year as an assistant coach. Hi, I'm Russell Davis and I'm going in my 25th year as a basketball coach here at Vanguard University. Awesome. Thank you so much um, for introducing yourselves and for joining us today on Inside the Pride. So let's get right into it. Um, our first question um, of the day is who on the team is pulling up to the game with the best pregame outfit? Who's got the most drip on the team? I would say yeah. our coaches because we the players go all matched up like we're all matched and then our coaches come in a little fly. <laughs> Which coach then? Coach Maya. Coach Maya. Maya. Got the shoes. Got them Converse on all the time. Uh, sometimes she'd be coming in with Jordans, you know, during the game. Well, I'm sure Coach Davis is going to remember that at the next practice. So, um, no, no, no I, 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 I agree. I just got my typical Nike stuff. So she's, uh, yeah, she's in a different league. We may have to start taking pregame photos of people showing up to the games um, like they do in the WNBA and the NBA. Um, who, I guess you guys all dress the same because um, the next question was who would dress the most casual. Um, but if you think of it, like if you guys were to not wear the same thing, who would you think would dress up the most casual? You guys unmute yourself so you guys can just throw stuff out there. <laughs> Oh, look. Probably Lauren. She doesn't like wearing dresses. She told me that once. She would 
nice jeans or sweatpants or something. <laughs> you don't wear dresses up out on the on the ranch up there in Idaho. <laughs> One thing we're going to do is we're going to show everybody that watches this how great we are of of team participation. <laughs> so obviously, obviously right now we we got full court pressed and we're turning the ball over. So we got to get out of this uh, of this situation and we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna go right through this after the press break and we're gonna shine a little bit more with more participation. Yes. Is there anyone else that comes to mind that would dress the most casual to a game? Mm -hmm. Oh, Monty dresses pretty casual. She's got yeah, Monty, Chris, and Mayo. To be honest, we all dress pretty. Everyone, yeah. pretty cool. bunch of little boys out there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I think this next question will be a little bit easier. Um, <laughs> <laughs> who on the team has the best taste in music who's making that pre-game playlist michaela michaela or tana yeah yeah nick always does our music for weight so we're always jamming oh yeah i heard michaela and tana so what kind of music would michaela listen to uh <laughs> Everything. Everything, yep. Yeah, yeah a everything. little bit of everything. <laughs> that was what's good. <laughs> uh, Michaela, if you were tasked to um, make or choose one song for a pregame warm-up, what would it be? Hmm. I mean, okay, let me think. <laughs> a vibe. You know, I have to check the vibe. Um, <laughs> one song. It's hard. Um, maybe I mean last year, like the song "Level Up" by Sierra. Yeah, <laughs> that was kind of the song for us. Yeah, that's yeah. it. <laughs> that's it right there. <laughs> awesome. Now, who on the team has the worst taste in music? Who's not getting an ox at all? <laughs> I feel like um, hmm. um, so everyone's pretty good when it comes to music there's got to be one person that you're not letting touch the ox I volunteer my <laughs> the Spanish plays the Spanish music she's jamming though she jams God, but if, if we put Fanny on the ox, then we're just going to listen to the same song on repeat. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's so true. And the same, the same song for everything, whether it be weights, funeral, it's going to be the same song. For <laughs> what song would that be? Would that be, would that be in Spanish or English? Spanish. <laughs> Honestly, she, she listens to a lot of English music too. So, Fanny? Dude, what's the song right now, Fanny? I'm trying to think. Um, <laughs> I'll go with um, TV. Hey! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And I <laughs> okay, um, we'll move on into the next question. Um, who on the team would star in another sport, and what sport would it be? Tana in soccer. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, Jayla's on track too. Jayla's yeah, 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 throws, yeah. <laughs> Tristan, Tristan would do track. Tristan would star in track. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tristan is very quick. Have my moment. <laughs> <laughs> if Tristan was to be a track star, what specific uh, sport would she do? Sprint. 
Short sprints, the yeah. sprint. <laughs> I can answer that one through sprints only. <laughs> Is there any other um, multi-sport athletes potentially in, in this group? You said Michaela, have, right? Yeah, I think we have several. I think I would go with Michaela in there too. Some kind of, uh, she's uh, she just got a little bit of athleticism. <laughs> Coach, what sport do you think she would play? I think she could probably do anything to be honest with you. I, would, I wouldn't <laughs> bet against her. Um, that's for sure. Yeah, I think I always tell her that I mean, when she gets rebounds, you watched her, she gets rebounds like she just goes up as high as she needs to. I don't, I don't know if there's a limit there. I mean, she rebounds over six, five people like they're, you know, five, five, and she just goes up. She just does whatever she needs to do. So it kind of reminds me of myself a little bit, you know? <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, we'll be, we'll be watching out for Michaela. We don't want to get in her way. That's for sure. <laughs> Uh, the star is the limit, right? Um, moving into the next question, um, in sports, a major thing is superstition. Um, who on the team is the most superstitious Natalia. and what do they do? <laughs> <laughs> Matt, Natalia. Yeah. She doesn't split the poles. She went to her little evil eye necklace. She doesn't believe in this and that. And every time it's something new. <laughs> <laughs> He's not real. She didn't have me looking over my shoulder. I'm like, Matt, what is this? Like, I never even heard of this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, Jayla's not wrong. I am pretty superstitious. Um, is there any pregame things that you would do to make sure, or in the game maybe, um, that you would do to make sure that your team wins? Um, before games, I eat Starburst, like before every game. <laughs> Yeah. So what would, color? What color Starburst? Um, it depends. I like the tropical ones. Those oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So kind of like Marshawn Lynch with the Skittles, we'll be seeing you with the Starburst. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Is there any other um, superstitious members on the team? I know Michaela had one, but I don't remember what it was. You had one that you used to do or something that you stopped doing eventually. I remember you talking to me about it one time, but I can't remember what it was. Into the same playlist every single game. It has to be the same. There you go. Yeah, that's it. Sierra's pretty superstitious. I was going to say Sierra. Sierra, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I concur. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What do you do, Sierra? Uh, well, last year I would get to the gym. I basically just do everything at the same time. So I'd get to the gym at the same time. I'd be wearing the same clothes, um, like two at T. Um, and then I'd, I'd sit down. I'd, I'd go to the training room at the same time. I'd listen to the same music. I'd visualize about the same things. I'd walk back out to the court at the same time, go take my wrist at the same time. Like everything was done to a T and if it wasn't the world was ending in my <laughs> was there ever a moment where you were knocked a little bit off course and maybe ran a one minute behind yes um when we uh played like not at our gym um when we played that team from Canada at some random gym it threw me it threw me off because there was no like pregame half court like halftime like we couldn't go and shoot at halftime so there's no pregame shooting so that threw me off I got taped at a different time we got to the gym at a different time everything was done at a different time but it worked out yeah we so maybe I should have gotten thrown off a little bit. <laughs> Well, you never know if it's going to work or not unless you go without it. And that's too risky. That's not worth it. Uh, but yes, most definitely. Um, our next question that we have is who on the team is most likely to star in a reality TV show? Mayo. 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 <laughs> With her dog. With her dog. With yeah, Rico. Yeah, Rico. 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 Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> what kind of what kind of re- reality TV show would it be? Be centered around food and her dog. She's real. I was thinking more like basketball wives, like, I don't know, something on E! (laughs) Network. (laughs) Like some Kardashian type stuff, but yes, just watching her everyday life. Yes. With her dog. And reality reality TV. Yeah. I agree. That's awesome. Well, that show's actually coming. We're going to get a recording um, crew to go to your house and document the next 365 days. um, Mm -hmm. And we'll bring that show out next year. (laughs) What what would, what would the title of the show be? What do you think? That's a tough one. Oh no, the life of Mayo and Rico. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Well, coming coming soon. So be on the lookout for that. Um, I'm sure it'll be a great show. Um, our next questions that we have are focused on the coaches. So um, you'll be answering which coach you think would be most likely to. Um, if you had a coach cook a meal for two for an important date, who would you trust the most to pull it off? Sierra. 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 <laughs> Sierra. Thank you guys. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, pasta. My dad taught me well, so. <laughs> what, what would, let's say that there was an important date happening. What do you think you'll make, Sierra, for this important date? Oh, so for this important date, we will go into my uh, my cookbooks, my dad's cookbooks, and we will definitely make some of his lasagna. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They've had it. They've had it. They know. It's so good. <laughs> That's it. Right there. You can't go wrong with lasagna. Yeah. Um, now, out of the coaches, who would you trust the least? Coach Maya. Coach Maya. Because <laughs> <laughs> y'all don't know that I throw down in the kitchen. It's so oh, okay. <laughs> you got to bring us a plate to practice. Yeah. Nah, yeah. Heard, I'm not about that life. Maybe if we got some proof now. Yeah. I still have faith in you, Coach Maya. Thank you, Fanny. Thank you. <laughs> the rest lying. of you are on my list. It's fine. Uh, she's lying. <laughs> It seems like Coach Maya and Coach Sierra is going to have to have some type of cook-off um, this season. Um, we got to make sure that happens, and that will really determine who would who would be who would be the best. Um, but if that was to happen, Coach Maya, what would you make against Sierra's lasagna? Against Sierra's lasagna, I'd probably go with my Mongolian beef. So that's just me. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I thought you were going to say like some cereal or something. <laughs> some toast, all right. Ramen. You know, Cup of noodle. Put some ramen. jam on it for you. <laughs> well, I definitely, I definitely want to be invited to this. So if it happens, I want a calendar invite. Um, now, and the next question that we have is in their prime. Once again, this is coaches. Um, which coach is taking home the crown in a three-point contest? Oh, Sierra. 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 Nah, I think Coach Russ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. Because Coach is very competitive. Yes. Very, very, very competitive. So we would see. I'm. I'm still. Uh, I'm just. I'm trying to figure out how I didn't get picked for cooking. I'm dead. Uh, I want to. I want to get in on that contest. Uh, so, Coach, what would you make, Coach Russ? I don't know. I. I mean, it's a tricky question because I haven't had to cook for about eighteen months. But uh, I would probably go with my prime rib, with some uh, some asparagus, 
with some uh, Parmesan cheese on there. I would have a dessert. And then I would, what I would also have is I would have my mashed potatoes with a little cream cheese in there, um, whip up some gravy. So those, the, even though you don't need gravy with those uh, things, I would probably have some baby carrots and then a Caesar salad um, with some with some meat in there also. Um, yeah, and then I would probably make some uh, double fledged uh, chocolate brownies for dessert. I think Coach got a full course meal going on. I don't know. He sounds like a winner. Oh, <laughs> Sierra. I didn't even get to say my dessert. <laughs> when you haven't when you haven't had a meal for eighteen months and you haven't eaten anything, you're trust me. I've had a lot of time to think about this. <laughs> Wow, that that blew that blew the competition out of the water. I don't know. I don't know. Um, back to the three point contest. I think we said it would be between Coach Sierra and Coach Russ. Um, if you had to decide would, between would, those two, I would give it to Sierra personally, just because if I beat her, she wouldn't talk to me for a while, and I really have I like in my conversations with Sierra. <laughs> no, I would just want to go again until I won. Yeah, if you put me and Sierra in a three-point contest, um, we would probably be there for about 48 to 72 hours because neither of us would leave. If I lost, I would want to go again. If she lost, she'd want to go again. That would be like the ever, that's like the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, the everlasting gobstopper. You know, we would be there forever. <laughs> Whatever that thing was called, I probably murdered that name, but you guys know what I was talking about. Close well, enough. You got it, you got it. <laughs> I, I don't I don't even know. It's it's a long name. Um, but if I'm not mistaken, Sierra, you hold the record for most threes in a single game. Yes. Is that right? Sir. Yes. Sir. Yeah. So that's gonna be that would be a fun three point competition um to watch. Um now kind of back um to the team as a whole. Um if you have to pick two other celebrity our athletes to join you in a three versus three competition for charity. Who are you recru recruiting to be on your team? Once again, it's you and two other people. They could be celebrities or athletes to be on your team in a three versus three. Diana Taurasi. Boom, she's one. Yes. That part right there, yes. <laughs> And so many great players. Hmm. LeBron, I guess, if we're, if I'm, if boys can join. I was going to say LeBron, too. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Devin Booker. <laughs> say it again. Say it again. Devin Booker. <laughs> Kelly Oubre, maybe? Oh, yeah, yeah. Can they be dead or alive? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Kobe. 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 Yeah. R.I.P. Is there any other people that would make your three three team three person team? Mm. MJ. MJ. Yeah. In yeah. his prime, MJ in his prime, yeah. His prime? Yeah. Kareem in his prime? Y'all, anyone in their prime. Steph in their prime. <laughs> Kevin Durant in his prime. <laughs> if it was on what? me, if it was, if it was a guy's, I would go with MJ. I would go with MJ and Kobe. If it was girls, I would go with um, Cheryl Miller and Diana Taurasi. Cheryl yeah, so Miller. Now, what is there a specific charity you guys feel like you would want it to benefit? Probably like some sort of um, like cancer foundation. Yeah, yeah, Coach has that one that we gave for the coaching clinic. Which one is that, Coach? What's it called again? Uh, KL Cancer Fund. Yeah.
Yeah. Moving on into the next question that we have, um, you know, one of the big things in sports is um, representing a brand um, and really creating that type of brand. If you were to have a major sports brand create a signature shoe um, for you to rock on the court, um, who would you choose to pull it off? Nike. Nike. <laughs> Good answers. <laughs> you know what? Um, maybe Adidas. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> So unanimously, it's it's Nike. Yes. Awesome. Um, now, who would who would be the like you you cannot get paid enough to use them um, to create your signature shoe? Sketchers. <laughs> I'd say New Balance. New Balance. Oh, do New Balance dirty. Reebok. Yeah, I would say Reebok or Adidas. Reebok. <laughs> Is there any other brands that you're like, no way, Jose? Shape ups. They still have those. <laughs> Are those still sketchers? <laughs> There you go. It'll get get you. Your, get your shape up. Oh, oh, it. It as a whole. <laughs> Out to. You got to give Sketchers a chance. They might really come out with a good shoe. No. I gotta you never know. Those. They might they might surprise you. It could sparkle as you ran across. Yeah, the exactly. You can light it. Some twinkle toes. Get some extra calories burned is what it sounds like. With some <laughs> like shoes with springs so that I can dunk one day. Or you can <laughs> ones with the little wheel. Those wheels. Heelys. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that be OP. <laughs> wow, that is all the questions I have for us um, today. Um, we want to thank you so much to the team for joining us on Inside the Pride. Um, and thank you to our audience for tuning in. And make sure to support our women's basketball program this season on the court. And until next time, stay inside the pride.